health care, though I'm very proud to say that what we've done with Medicaid, for example, is we're covering every single person that's under the federal poverty level. We're the only state in the nation that can make that claim. And many of the others said, how can you do it? Well, you have to step up with investment. And so we did that. And so keeping costs low while still providing great quality is, is a collaboration thing. We've actually looked at incentivizing and perhaps some debt reduction. Perhaps we can uh, maybe even work out a, a situation where if you do work in a rural area that we can help pay off your school debts and whatnot. But also placemaking. I'm a huge fan of uh, the placemaking ideal of and we're doing it here in Eau Claire, uh, where we're developing the culture that attracts young people. We have young people who are going to trainings and learning how to come into the nursing homes and into the healthcare field, and they're finding, they're becoming disillusioned because they're making $7.25 an hour. So we have to keep that. We have to change the employment status. We have to change what we're doing. We have to have better support. Uh, one of the things is that, you know, the Medicare our, our governor decided not to take the Medicare expansion. Our state has launched a program trying to bring professionals back by offering them tax credits over a period of years. I'd rather see them come back and do some kind of a scholarship program for people who want to be teachers or doctors or nurses in areas and that the scholarship program would be tied to their coming back and serving their communities.